Uh, jumping over to that men's 15, as I mentioned, Oliver Hoare, runner-up to countryman Stuart McSwain. McSwain got a win. Gordon. Yes. McSwain. McSwain I think it was got this, a win. After all the – pull up, can we pull up McSwain's season here and just get, get a look at it? Because he's in every race. He's entered <laughs> in, in basically every single – men's 1500 men's 3000 and he he makes noise when he's there he's not just chilling in the back of the pack the announcer says his name so i, I just wanted to see his his um his season just how frequently he runs because it sure feels like he's just there constantly but also always being it seems like bested so he got a win early on in in australia and then if you look at his major competitions third in gateshead second in doha fourth in monaco Seventh the Olympics and then the win here. Uh, he got well, he won the Bislett Games. Should have mentioned that, but he got second in pre. And then you go in the three Ks. He was second in uh, Gateshead, the other Gateshead, and then he was third in Lausanne. So got that got that win in Oslo. But this was the this was the the, the cherry on the top of the season. We could say for for Stuart McSwain after many many hard races. Yeah, and a lot of his second and third place finishes are like 728, 3K for second, you know, 329, 1500 for like yeah, second yeah, and third. Yeah. A 340, he got second in the mile running 348. It's like so many moral victories. Incredible times, but not never getting the victory. And for get a victory here, pretty cool for him. Um, yeah, he's going to be, he's going to keep races honest that we're going to have in this 1500. We talk about, the Centro era when he won his 2016 title, winning it in 350. That is never going to happen again. Obviously, with the, the emergence of Ingebrigtsen and Cherry, but also having these other guys out there who are going to keep paces honest and make sure no matter what, we are running sub 350 mile pace or sub yeah. 332, 1500 meter pace. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's wrap it up here. Any other. Races that stood out to you. We had Natoya Gould win the 800, Dos Santos win the Formula Hurdles, Mondo obviously won the pole vault, Visser in the high hurdles. No. Getting ready. Cross country season started. I'm excited about that. All right. We'll leave it there. That's it. <laughs> we'll talk about that next week. No, fun. we're going to do full Zurich Diamond League. We're going to break down all the fields. You're going to yell at whichever ones aren't legit enough. Like which yes. ones passed. The Gordon test. That's Ooh, what we'll figure out. So you want to do a, we'll do a little friendly wager and we see if we can who can predict the most winners? Sure. That sounds good. That's what we'll do. I'll do that. 